Now, of course, before we can really get rockin' and rollin' with WordPress, we need a WordPress installation. Now, there's three different ways that you can go about working with WordPress. What we can do is we can go and create a free account on WordPress.com, which is what you and I are going to do in this exercise. The other thing that we can do is we can set up a WordPress blog on an existing hosting account. And we'll do that in the next exercise. And the third option that we have is we can actually install WordPress locally. What that means is creating a WordPress blog on our local machine or our actual desktop or laptop computer. And we're not going to do that in this series. It's uh, a little bit more involved, a little bit more technically challenging, but if you are interested, if you're on the PC side, you can check out ZAMP, that's X-A-M-P, you can just Google that, or if you're on the Mac side, you can check out MAMP, M-A-M-P. In any regard, let's go and set up our free WordPress.com blog account. So, of course, what I'm going to do here is I will navigate to WordPress.com, there we are. And unfortunately, the entire page isn't fitting inside my browser, but over in the top right corner, just go ahead and click on Sign Up Now. Okay, great. Now, let's see here. On the page that appears, they're asking for a username. So I'm just going to use my name, Jeff Blake. And they would like a password. So I'll enter in a password. Okay, and we'll confirm that password. All right, and we'll just scroll down here a little bit. What's cool when you're entering in the password is it gives you this password strength indicator. It reminds me of <laughs> the little battery tester that comes with my package of AA batteries. But anyway, hopefully that uh, is working there for you. Now, go ahead and pop in your email address next. Enter mine in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a different email address. There we are. Okay, legal flotsam. I have read and agreed to the fascinating terms of service. You can certainly take the time to read through all that. And then down at the bottom here we have give me a blog like whatever your username is, .wordpress.com, or just give me a username, please. Well, make sure you have give me a blog and then click on next down in the bottom left corner. Okay, now let's see. What do we have going on here? Now, oh, it looks like my email address is already taken. So, you know what? I'll try the other email address that I was going to use previously, and let's see what we get here. I'll click on Next. Okay. Now, on the next screen that shows up, we can set up our blog domain. So mine is going to be jeffblake.wordpress.com. In other words, when I point my browser to this URL, that would be the URL or the address for my blog, which is great. And then below that, we have the blog title, Jeff Blake's blog, or you can change that to whatever you want. I think I'm going to change this to Jeff's blog. The language for myself is going to be English and privacy. I would like my blog to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati and in public listings around WordPress.com. Definitely, I'm going to make sure that that guy's turned on, and then I'll click on sign up. Okay, now here's how it works. You can read here, an email has been sent to my email address to activate my account. Check your inbox, and we should get an email sitting inside our inbox, which allows us to verify the email address and verify the account. And if we don't activate our account within two days, then we have to start this whole process all over again. So I'm going to go and check my email in just a moment. But in the meantime, what I can do here is I can set up some additional profile information. For example, my first name and my last name, without my screen getting away on me, about myself, designer, artist, all around nice guy. How's that? Okay, perfect. And I'll go ahead and click on save profile. But I still have to go and check my email and I have to go and verify that account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that on your own as well, and then I'll meet you back here, and we'll see how we did.